Hello and welcome. Uh, this video will show you how to go about completing and joining an online uh, Bexley Borough Neighbourhood Watch uh, form. You go to their website bexleywatch.blogspot.com or their official website and download the form from there. Uh, have this piece of uh, s uh, tool on the web ready to upload the form and complete it. Uh, I'll put the links in the description for you. So let's go back to the uh, form, click on more and scroll down and there you'll see it says if you wish to become involved please download and complete a BBNWA application form and post or email it to the address shown. So I've already clicked on it and downloaded it and this is the form registration it looks like so and then you either print it off and complete it by hand and send it by email to that email address uh, you don't need to fill in the office action so where you have um, a road name number of households what part you want to cover and the ward uh, the ward you can find uh, on the web if we go on the website click on uh, Bexley Wards and find where your street is so if, for example if it's um, Crayford I don't know um, it'll be in that ward so this is how you can find your ward uh, you can even go down to uh, wards in Bexley by postcode uh, so you can search for your you know if you put in your filter your ward or your postcode it'll come up and tell you which ward it is so that's an easy way of doing it going back to the form once you've downloaded it um, you can upload it to which I'm going to show you to this document site uh, you basically open the form drag and drop it in there or you can click on choose file and upload it so you will see that the form gets uploaded and you can then use the signature and text box to enter the um, details there where it comes to signature you can then sign your signature by com ad adding it like so and then um, just basically drawing it so if I if I put down I don't know C T. Uh, if you didn't like that, if you made a mistake, just put uh, C T. For example, you know whatever your signature is. If you're happy with that, just if that's your signature, uh, click accept. If you make a mistake, you can click the X button to remove it and do it again. If you're happy with it, just select it and then position it onto the signature part and you'll see this uh, little icons you can then use your mouse to drag and position it and line it up uh, to put it in there I'll enter a few details to show you how that works it's quite easy to do so there's your signature let's put a date uh, text box click on that just drag that over the date part again reposition and then once you're happy with that drag it and but as you can see the mouse pointer changes and then select the text and then just put down for example today is first of march uh, so if you go back oops that's the wrong one wrong one would help if you're on the text, isn't it? So, 1st of March 2022. Once you're happy with the size and position, click away. You can always go back and click on it to tidy up. And I'm going to now complete all the rest of it is with uh, just a fictitious details so you get the idea and then we'll take it from there I'll pause the video and then continue once I've done that part right we are back at the video I've actually filled in some um, road name 
number 50 Hall of Road you can decide which part you want to cover Ward Thames Mead East name again some r random name where you put your own name obviously date of birth art and close your address telephone number mobile postcode email signature I've moved the signature from the joint coordinator details which I put there initially and again with same with that one you select that and drag it over and position that and then take away it. and that's all there is to it so will by signing you authorize uh, PBN to use your data to register etc read that and then all you gotta do is um, if you're happy with everything uh, that's where you choose the signature that's the text you you're happy with all that you then um, create the PDF clicking on it and then you get an option you can then check the details are correct by previewing it there you go and go back you can then download a copy and uh, save it for yourself email it by clicking here and then you get this complete section tab so you put your email here from name um, I will use just pause the video for a second so back to the form I will use this email to send it to um, and then um, subject um, registration for to join as a coordinator if you got a join coordinator enter the details like I showed you in the video um, but you can also alternatively click on minimum and then put the email address you want to send it to and send to the entered email address um, and that's all there is to it um, uh, you can check that the details are correct um, and um, that's basically it so thanks for watching and hope that helps you out if there's any questions you can contact um, the secretary at this number and telephone and there's contact us details uh, on the website as well Thanks for watching. Bye for now.